All right, Shalawan, Shalawan, Mr. Brother Zachariah, coming back to you with another uh, another sit down lesson. Okay, but first and foremost, I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalawan to you, brothers out there that are laboring and during the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation. As well as you sisters that are learning, listening, and applying, being obedient to your husband. Shalom, shalom. All right. And I must say, man, it feels good to be able to get right back out here and doing these lessons. You know, uh, it's been a real trying week for me, man. It's been crazy, you know, uh, at work, you know, working long hours. It's been wearing tear on my body. And then you come home and you're just exhausted. And I'm like, man, this is crazy because, you know, I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those people that like, you know, I'm not trying to go hard in the paint on these jobs, you know, and then not have any effort for the work of doing the work, you know, doing videos. I've even, you know, got to where I've been able to do some at work, you know, but, um, you know, these devils, I know they, they don't know that I'm doing lessons, you know, while I'm there, they, uh, but I believe like their spirit, the spirit that's in them senses it, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, they don't want me working by myself. They try to put uh, people over there uh, in my area because, you know, then they try to make you feel obligated to train them or if they got questions. And and then the guy that's working over beside me, you know, it's hard to do a lesson when you got someone right there, especially a Needamite. And he's, he's ear hustling what you're saying. And then he's talking while you're trying to record and do a video to edify the sheep, you know, the flock. And, and he's talking over you you know i was doing one video and i don't know if it's in the one of the lessons i uh, posted on youtube i might have uh edited it out but he was like he kept saying huh huh oh i thought you was talking to me i thought you was talking to me and he had headphones on so i'm thinking like he must he must not he must just got him on for looks because you know my 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 earbuds are or headphones that i have they're noise cancelers so i can't hear anything outside of that you know and i do that purposely because i'm not trying to listen to anybody's conversations or or even talk to nobody. I just want to listen to my music and do my job and go home. You know, every now and then I check on there for prophecies and stuff and repost uh, uh, some of the stuff that brothers, the other brothers are posting. But, you know, um, I've been trying to, because you, when you're at a job and you're working eight to 10 hours, that's a long time, man. You know, and I know there's men in the Lord that, you know, they don't, they don't actually have nine to five jobs. They don't work, you know, so. They just say that, you know, I'm just doing the work of, of the Lord, you know, and that's that's cool. You know, like I said, I ain't I'm not counting nobody's pockets. I'm not going to say anything or, or judge you, you know, but don't condemn a brother that's working a nine to five either. You know, because if I don't do that, then I'm on the streets. I have nowhere to go and I'm not going to live with I'm not shacking up with no woman, you know, just to have somewhere to be. I'm not going to live with my folks because both of my parents are both bipolar, schizo, you know. So uh, I don't want to, um, I'm not dealing with, I, you know, if I can avoid any type of conflict, stress, any of that, I'm going to do so. Like, I'd rather have my own, which I have my own place, you know, and I have peace. Now, there's rules where I live at, you know, there's uh, rules and I have to abide by those. Like, if I was doing lessons in my place, you know, the walls are thin and you got a neighbor, that, which most of them work third shift, they can complain. And then that, that'll get you evicted. And the, the landlord here, he's petty. He looks for reasons to do that. And he, most of the guys, you know, the tenants that live here, they don't have nowhere else to go. And he knows that. And he'll kick them out and then they, they don't have nowhere to take their stuff. And then he'll go in there and take their stuff. And he'll go hoard it in um, down in the basement. Like in, I've been in the basement where that he has and he has it uh, all locked up. But he has all kinds of people's stuff in there, shoes, clothes, all that. And he's... He ain't giving it back. He's keeping that stuff, man. You know? And I'm like, that's petty, man. That's a petty individual, man. And Yahweh Bashim Yashah going to destroy that man. But uh, enough of that. I want to get into this lesson. You know, uh, like I said, this is probably my first one starting off this week, man. So, you know, I'm just like, wow, you know. You know, the last one lesson I did was uh, uh, Highways, you know, um, uh, last week. So that that was bothering my spirit, you know, but it's just rough. And then, you know, you got uh, where I, usually where I post up out here and do uh, lessons, you know, I got uh, neighbors. They come over. This is like a little smoke area for them. So I guess when they see me over here, they don't come. And sometimes they do. And they'll try to talk over 
talk while you're doing your lesson or blowing cigarette smoke in your face. And I'm like, that's crazy. But anyways, uh, we're going to dive into this lesson. Uh, this is something I posted on um, social media earlier. And um, it's a basketball player by the name of Joe Smith and his wife. You know, there's a big controversy because she uh, started up an OnlyFans. But there's a, she has a reason for why she did it. And, uh, you know, she I guess she feels justified by it. But we're going to dive into uh, a couple of these uh, uh, articles. All right. And, and it looks like they've been updated because uh, I had some. You know, uh, maybe we might just scroll through and then I might pick a couple of them and, and uh, read read a little bit of them. But uh all right, there's this one right here. This was one of the ones I, I ended up seeing. And it says ex nba -er Josh Smith, okay, which this is a basketball player that played for um, played in the NBA. Matter of fact, we can uh, – I got his uh, stuff pulled up. You know, he played uh, for a lot of teams. You know, look, he got Lakers on. Cle uh, I think that – is that Cleveland Cavaliers? I'm not sure. That might be a Lakers one too. I don't know. He's played for several teams. Look, he played for the Warriors. I remember him. You know, I'm a, you know, I like the, I like NBA. Uh, so, uh, you know, and then he's, he says his partner, her Keisha, Chat Chavis or Chavis or however you pronounce her name. You know, that's uh, supposed to be his wife. Okay, so, uh, you know, but that's one of the big talks right now. All right. And it says, ex-NBA player Josh Smith is not a fan of his wife's latest business venture, absolutely losing it after finding out she has an OnlyFans account. Smith's partner of five years, Keisha Chavez, a former uh, adult actress, okay? So she was a uh, she was a porn star, all right? And if you're, um, I didn't say this in the beginning, if you're under the age of 18, I suggest you probably not tune into this lesson because, you know, like I said, I'm, I pulled up um, like her, her um porn bio you know and i don't want you know you know if you like under under age and, and stuff like that don't don't tune into this um you know this is probably for 18 and over um because but it, this is a lesson that needs to be done you know you know some stuff they you might do a lesson you don't want to cover certain things you know like this is a lesson i don't really want to dive into but it needs to be brought out because there's a lot of scriptures that condemn these type of actions and and, and these type of uh, women and living this type of lifestyle will not get you into the kingdom okay unless you repent all right so uh you know uh smith's partner of five years keisha chavis a former uh, adult actress which i got her stuff pulled up and like i said if you're under the age of 18 i suggest you uh you know get out of this uh lesson but if you're uh 18 and older um you hey, stay tuned in and get edified you know shared footage of his reaction to discovering her triple x subscription based profile and he was pissed okay all right and this is both of them right here you know i already showed you his stuff and then this is her um and then it says just finding out you got an OnlyFans page all these years smith said in the clip adding she should have had a conversation with him before hopping on the platform and absolutely right he's right you know when you come together the scripture says you become one flesh so if you are um you know um you're doing stuff behind his back and stuff that's sneaky you know you know and that's not right you know that make a man feel some kind of way and that can ultimately lead to your uh divorce actually you having the only fans can really be a divorce because you know why would in the world you want to show the world you know your your uh your body you, you know it's for your man to see and him only okay look he says that's bullshit smith the no number one overall pick in the 1995 nba draft said that's effed up okay keish i'm telling you that's effed up all right keisha then defends herself claiming she isn't doing any work with 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 other people okay so she's basically saying she's not you know like laying with other men she just because i think uh when you look at that platform yeah, you could be on there just uh, showing your body and and guys will, you know, pay you money and stuff like that, you know, uh, and uh, or teasers or whatever, you know, this that platform serves. And then you might have some owner that are just doing the most, which I got the OnlyFans stuff 
pulled up that tells you talks about a little bit about what they you know you can do on their platform uh all right she says uh all right she isn't doing any work with other people so it's my body my effing choice see that's that that's that babylon wine and she's obviously still uh drunk on that man you know that's that ba my body my choice but really it, uh you are your man's uh, you become your man's property whether you want to hear that or not you know now it don't sound as bad as you think it is you know but that man is 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 your uh protector you know and like i said you become one flesh so you know you doing things behind his back is like y'all not really a, a one flesh you know <laughs> okay it says she also said she tried numerous times to come up with a solution to her financial status together but ultimately decided to revisit her former career path all right and then she says, you knew who the F I was when you met me. So he knew she was a porn star. He knew all those things, you know, when he got with her. All right. I thought I would never have to go back to anything like this again. But unfortunately, that's not the case right now. OK, it's worth noting Smith reportedly made 61 million in his career, but only pocketed around 18 million after taxes and agent fees. Wow. See, you could make all that, but you only end up with 18, which 18 million is still a lot of money. But, you know, it's a lifestyle. When you live a lifestyle, that money can go quick. All right. All right. And uh, let's see. Amongst, uh, among other expenses, he has since opened up about his money problems. Smith said he doesn't care much how much money she's making on OnlyFans. It doesn't change the fact that she's doing it behind his back. Yeah, see, that's the... Hey, that's that's bad. And he sees it as a smack in the face. Absolutely. We take it. Smith won't be subscribing to Keisha's page anytime soon. All right. And uh, there was a other article. I don't know if I might be able to find find it through through all the different ones that are on there. But uh, I could just break it down. She said um, that, uh, you know, like obviously they're having money problems. And she says that he's not working or like it seems like he's not finding a solution to it, you know. And so she she's going back to what she knows best and that's doing you know that that type of uh stuff you know of course she's not laying with with any man but she's done a lot of that in her career you know okay so um uh, you know i wanted to pull this up because it told you in that article it said her name which was yes uh jasmine uh pin pin davis or pendavis or however she, you want to pronounce it you know i don't know it's look it has everything look it says uh she's 52 years old it says years active she started um doing it around uh she says she started around 18 years old it says she years active she was uh in it around 1989 all the way to 2006 so you can only imagine how many men she been with okay now again if you're under the age of 18 i advise you that you um you know not be tuned into this okay and just scrolling through and just look at all that. Look at this. Look at that. You see the word uh, anal on there, which that means, you know, the, a, a woman uh, or a man going through uh, a woman's uh, rectum. All right. Look, the word DP. I'm sure, you know, y'all know what that means. That's two men penetrating this woman at, at the same time you know you know look les les only that means two women you know and i'm just showing y'all but look at all these different these movies and i'm sure there's probably more but this is a site that breaks down these the career of these these uh these men and women that are porn porn stars you know and salakia for happening to pull that up but i wanted to really show you and just that you be edified okay let me uh scroll right back over here you know all right, but this is, uh, let's start bringing out some precepts because I did a lot of talking, all right? But this is Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. It says, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel, okay? So it's basically telling you that, um, that uh, of the, um, the daughters of Israel, there should be no whores, okay? And it's very plain, um, you know, and there's no, no getting around that, man. You know, so this woman is telling him like she she knew or he knew what she was before, um, you know, he got with her, you know, and, and which is true. You know, obviously he shouldn't, have, uh, you know, uh, wife her up, you know, you know, unless, you know, a woman repent. Because, you know, like I said, we all uh, 
there's people in this truth that we come up to this truth. There's people that have uh, probably have passed, you know. It could be women in this truth that have come back to Yahweh Bashim and they probably dealt with multiple men, you know. Some of them could have been prostitutes. You got men that were whoremongers and drug dealers and everything. So, I mean, we're not going to knock you and say, like, oh, you, you know, but if if you are holding on to that lifestyle, which, you know, she might uh she might stop dealing with men and she uh with other men and she's just with him but however you um you know you haven't came back to your how about shimmy i'm shy which that's a big difference yeah you can change your lifestyle but you still got to come back to your how about shimmy i'm shy you know and keep those law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability all right and here's an article here is uh this one says that he actually left home so i don't know because uh i saw one article where it said that she was uh very uh you know, uh, she like uh, she's, uh, you know, very believing that, you know, he's not going to go anywhere. You know, I just put it that way. Like she's just truly believes, you know, he's not going to leave. You know, she said that he'll get over it or something like that. All right. Ex NBA player Josh Smith leaves home. So see, he left home after wife's only fan, fan confession. And I saw in another article where. Uh, he found out through a friend So a friend of his I guess you know He might be subscribed to her page uh, Or something like that You know Which you know uh, That would be crazy Because you know you're, you know, but, but then again You know Because you don't want your Some of your homies Seeing your girl nude or naked But hell She had a career in pornography So she could They could just probably Google her stuff you know, and see her old content. You know, it's it's real crazy, man. I remember one time when, um, you know, before this truth, of course, I was in the world, and I was dating this girl, and um, they were telling me that she had a uh, history, man. Like, uh, they, she messed around with a lot of men in Jeffersonville, in the city that I live in, and it was just like, man. And I'm and I was thinking to myself, like, that'd be embarrassing. You'd be sitting at going to a restaurant, and say the. Uh, the waiter, it could be a waiter on, waiting on your table, and he could have slept with her, and he looking. Uh, you just, you know, uh, you go into a store <laughs> or anywhere, you know, you just be out and about, and, and you can cross paths with some guy that slept with her, and then they be looking at you like, man, you got my my leftovers or something like that, you know, and that's just, you know, that's sad, man. It's a shame. But it says that he left his home following his wife's announcement of her OnlyFans account. All right. And let's see if there's anything else on here. To my her body, uh, I've been curious. But she said, you're not giving me one because, uh, you know, I told you they having money problems. And she said, you're not giving us. Uh, she said, I've been asking for a solution for shit. You not giving me one. So I created one. All right. And see, uh, getting on him as a man, you're supposed to be a protector and a provider. So, you know, you, OK, you you, uh, you don't have that 18 million no more. You know, you're not bringing in revenue. You're not bringing in any money and stuff like that. You know, well, you're going to have to get a job. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to do something because if you got a wife and you're a man, and any man of your how about you, you're going to provide for your family. You're not going to sit around and just be a bum. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but see, she's seeing um, that she has done, um, done no wickedness. All right. This is Proverbs 30 and 20. It says, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. Okay? And that's and that's really that's graphic right here. You know, that's a woman doing some some sexual acts. Now she's not she's not doing those things, of course. You know, and this is like my third time saying that, but you know, I just wanted to be clear. I'm not saying I'm not bearing false with I'm not saying that she's doing that. She says she's not, but she's but you're showing your body, you know, which I believe in Leviticus. It show tells you about that, like, you know, the other the world ain't supposed to be seeing all your nakedness and everything. All right. Which that's what the OnlyFans uh, pushes. Okay. This is the book of Sirach. This is uh, chapter 26. And I'm going to start at verse 22. And it says, A harlot shall be counted as spittle. Okay. And that's basically talking about spit. 
that's 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 bad man but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband all right and see and she's married to this man but however she's going back to her uh her horse ways all right verse 23 says a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man but a godly woman is given to a to him that feareth the lord so if a man of the lord is uh you know it's not going to be given a woman like this all right and, and if you are with a woman like that yahweh is going to make it to where it's not going to work out you know like i said i had a woman that had a history and you know i've been tr i tried the dating thing you know but this was before the truth of course but uh when i came into this truth i just i knew i had to be single you know and um and not really put, worry about pursuing a woman but you know it's in my dna to be a husband i want to be a husband i want to have children i want to be a father you know i want those things but i know that uh this is why i do the work you know seeking out my salvation first and foremost and then stealing the elect but you know my desire is to be a husband is to be a father i want to have those things and i know i'll get that in the kingdom okay or hey i might get it uh, during the uh jacob's trouble you know we got isaiah 4 and 1 which is a prophecy to come okay so that's something to think about as well you know but i'm working on myself and just continue doing the work and making my calling election sure all right verse 24 says a dishonest woman can contend uh shame all right and she was dishonest she never spoke that to him she kept that you know away from him you know uh that 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 was like a secret you know and that's a big secret <laughs> you know not a little but a big secret all right but that brings shame, all right? But an honest woman shall reverence her husband. See, she would have thought about her husband before she went forth for doing that, okay? Maybe her saying, I'm, I'm thinking about going back to doing that or putting up an OnlyFans, maybe that would have motivated him. Hey, no, 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 don't do that, baby. You know, I'm going to get out here. I'm going to work. I'm going to bust my ass. I'm going to do what I can so that I can provide, and we, don't, we avoid that, all right? All right, verse 25, and it says, A shameless woman... Uh, uh, shall be counted as a dog, but but she uh, but she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. Okay. It says verse twenty six: A woman that honors her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonors him in her pride and she she's pride. My body's pride. Okay, pride goeth before destruction. All right, shall be counted as ungodly of all. Okay, so. You know, the scriptures is heavy, man. And like I said, you know, this is the, the information I got on the OnlyFans. It says OnlyFans is an internet content subscription service based in London, UK. All right. United Kingdom. All right. And it says this service is used primarily by sex workers. So, you know, they could, they could post pornography on there. All right. Who produce pornography. See, but it's also host the works of content creators. You know, um, such as physical fitness, you know, they got those that are into the exercise. They could post that. Some of them uh, still, you know, they, they'd be like those girls in the gym showing they uh, wear the real tight spandex and showing they, they, uh, they ass and stuff. Still getting men to lust. That's why I don't like being in those gyms. I tell brothers, you know, I know brothers are big uh, in the truth in those gyms, but a lot of those women go in there and they wearing provocative uh, attire, you know, in the gym. And, you know, that's going to cause you to lust. Okay. And put a different spirit there's spirits in those gyms man you know which that's another that could be a lesson which i've done lessons on it it, it goes back to rome and stuff like that those gyms those you know and that it was really bad back then you know because they had men they had little boys and men wrestling nude and that was the old pervert um edomites you know was was getting off uh looking at that and and doing all time matter of witness had men rest that's why when you look at those statues over there like in rome greece and stuff you see like two men wrestling nude that's that that's that's stuff that was going on in them gyms man you know that's that's off and wicked you know it's a spirit next thing you know jake and the truth will be posting uh shirtless uh photos and, and stuff when you got people um you got women um following you uh, on this for this truth you know because you're a man of the lord you know breaking down scriptures and stuff okay so you got to be mindful of that you know we tell women cover up with you know you men should do the same you know that don't give you leeway to do what you want to do you know some of y'all are under that my body my choice spirit too <laughs> you know so i just wanted to show this but it says and musicians so like you you know music you know you can post musical content on there but you know ain't nobody posting none of that you know Okay, so this is also in the book of uh, Sirach, the 26th chapter, but it just moved on up to verse 8. 
and it says a drunken woman and a gather abroad all right cause of great anger okay she will not cover her own shame okay and she's not gonna cover her shame she don't feel shame for it all right this is uh verse 9 it says the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids okay you see that look that is on her face man look at this look at that look look at those teeth man she's smiling and everything cheesing being a whore man you know that's crazy man we can go back over here let's see and it's sad i mean she's she she's a very she's an attractive woman man you know she's a beautiful woman and it's sad that our women uh, resorted to that you know joint getting into that type of uh you know that that type of stuff you know like the pornography and all that that's it's, it's sad man to see that you know but uh our people have went all the way off and you see why we're we're down as a people man okay this is proverbs 23 and 27 it says for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit okay and i think he sensed that you know the spirit you know in him it's like nah man you know he you don't see that just ending good you know because you know you're showing yourself you know he understood her history and i guess he probably uh you know as long as you're not doing that now you know it's it's all about me and you you know and, and but she hasn't uh obviously repented for that for you to just go right back to that you know i don't believe that she has repented for it i could be wrong but you know obviously you know you <laughs> You know, for you to to obviously resort back to that, you know, there's other ways, you know, you, you could go get a job. But a lot of these people do. They, they, they don't want to work. They uh, Jake, you know, and Eve, they don't have a working bone in their body. You know, you know, do I like working, you know, for Esau or these companies, which really you're not working for Esau. Technically, you're really working for your family, you know, because your how about Shemuel Shai, it will provide you for you. But I, I think they think is him providing is you not having to work a job. No. The scriptures tell you that you were going to have to that goes back to adam you know the stuff that happened in the garden you know you have to uh till the ground work the sweat of the brow uh and then also the curses where it says you have to go to your enemy for uh, everything pretty much you know going to you know like i said the book of deuteronomy all right all right this is another precept here this is Deuteronomy 23 and um, verse 18. It says, Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord, thy God, for any vow. Okay? You men shouldn't be out here dealing with, with prostitutes and whores. And don't say, yes, uh, uh, Samson did it. Samson did it, but look what happened. Look what the end result was for, for Adam. I mean, not for Adam, Samson, Salakia, for Samson. You know, the, the story of him and Delilah. You know, which you can go, you can read that on your own time. Just uh, Google, you know, uh, type it in. If you're new in this truth, just type it up, you know, type up, you know, the, the, the story of uh, uh, Samson and Delilah and see what happened with that. And the end result, you know, you know, that could be, that'll be uh, your, your downfall, man. OK. All right. This is a uh, Proverbs uh, chapter seven, and I'm going to start at verse twenty five and it says, let not dying heart decline to her ways uh go not astray in her paths and see he walked out and that's why i brought out that article where it said man he he walked out man he's he, he left so it, you know it maybe he might need a chance to cool off but it could ultimately lead to divorce maybe he might be giving her a chance to to uh you know take that page down you know and and, and uh and stop that but you know him as a man you know you're gonna have to be a provider man you know, and I'm not justifying what she's doing, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, cause you know, they both, they both need to get it together, you know? All right. Verse 26, it says, for she have cast down many wound, wounded. Yeah. Many strong men have been slain by her. Okay. Verse 27, her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death. All right. And that could be the, uh, the end results, you know, if you don't, um, you know, you, you deal with a woman like that, man, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's sad, you know, her, her whole history is on, it's on display, you know, you can look at her old, uh, work, 
you know, that uh, that she was doing, you know, um, then uh, and now and her age now, because that site said, well, she's 52, you know, 52, 52 year old woman, you know, um, showing her body and everything on on uh, on the OnlyFans, man. You know, our people, man, definitely got to get it together in these last days, man. You know, we got to repent and we got to come back to you. How about shimmy I was shot, man, because. You know, that that type of lifestyle, you know, obviously I brought out many precepts in here, you know, and Lord willing, they were edifying to you, you know, uh, showing you that 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 type of lifestyle will not uh, get you into the kingdom. You know, you have to repent from that, you know, and I mean, if you want to be like, uh, you know, you want to show your, your body. Or you want to be like freaky and all that? You be that for your man. You do. You you keep that. You take that energy into the bedroom. You know, I've I've known I've uh you know before this truth I've uh dated women, and and like I said you know I, before I understood that uh, you know a woman you know once she, you know she lays with a man she becomes that that man's wife. You know you didn't think about that. You think you know okay she she might have been with this guy but. You know, they're no longer together, so she's single. You know, you get a single woman, you know, uh, whatever. But you hear about women and, uh, you know, and they'll say, oh, man, she a freak. She do freaky stuff. And then all of a sudden they get with you and they just, they stop all together. They, they're not going to have that energy for you in the bedroom. You know, you, you want to wear uh, uh, lingerie for, for your ex. But when you got with, 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 uh, you know, your man now, now all of a sudden you want to pull up to the bedroom in a nightgown. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the energy for him, and he's a good man, you know? So it's like, you know, you keep that energy for your man, you know, for the bedroom and all that. But but for the world, the world does not need to see your body. The world does not not to see all that. And you definitely don't want to be laying around with multiple men. Now, you know, that's another lesson there because, uh, you know, there's women that say, well, a man don't need to be being passed around. You know, but a man can have uh, more than one wife, okay? Uh, so, uh, but, uh, you know, you women, if you're moving in this type of manner like this, you need to repent. You know, uh, Joe Smith, man, hey, you need to repent. You need to be a provider. You need to, uh, yeah, hey, get up off your butt, man. You know, you need to provide for your family, you know? Don't be sad and depressed about the 18 million because that money is not going to get you into the kingdom, you know. Maybe you losing that, all that, and being brought brought down low is a good thing. That's a good sign, you know. It's a good it's a good sign because, you know, the meek, you know, the lowly, the poor, those are going to be the ones that inherit the kingdom of God, man. So maybe your Habashim Yashad might be working on you, man. But you need to repent. You just be a provider. If you have to get a 9 to 5 or whatever, you know, to provide for your family, man, then do it, you know, you got to step up, man, and, uh, and as to your, your, your wife, your rib, Keisha Chavez, man, hey, you need to repent, you know, you know, and, and um, come back to your how about Shimmy I was shy, because you are an Israelite, man, you know, I believe that through the spirit, you know, you're an Israelite, and you need to come back, come back, you know, because you have a chance to make it, you know, this, uh, into the kingdom, you know, when the chariots come, you know, don't be on the outside looking in, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying to you all. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, shalom.